Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostagar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or... or be hung as a deserter. Better a deserter than a traitor, right, Logain? I fled the battlefield when you betrayed us. I abandoned my men and Kaelin with them. He was my king, my friend. Where's all your grand posturing now? At least I took my men with me. You should have grown a spine and done the same, soldier. Maker, all that time in Ban Loren's prison, and I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. No, perhaps not. But I've been given the chance to set things right. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The King entrusted me with the key to the Royal Arms Chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. He didn't get the chance. Duncan was so busy with the new recruits and keeping Logain at bay. Whatever his reasoning, it's me Kaelin entrusted it to. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you. So you'll know where to search. It's not a place I thought I'd be returning to so soon, but if we do go back, leave the Circle Mage behind. We'd hear no end to her moralizing prattle. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. <laughs>